today it comes out in no uncertain terms. By the time we're done today, you will know exactly where the cat daddy stands. People, let's talk about decline. It's very simple. I mean, declawing is something that I come across every day. 25% of all cats in the U.S. are declawed, which is crazy when you ask me. Why is it crazy? Because declawing is, in my humble opinion, inhumane, barbaric, for the most part, cosmetic, and it is unnecessary. What is declawing? Declawing is actually denuckling. Do you think that all you're doing is pulling out the claws of a cat to make your belongings safer, or your kids, or you? But it's not. It is the amputation uh, of the first joint of every knuckle on a cat's paws. I'm here to talk for the cats. And the cats say, of course I wouldn't want uh, my knuckles amputated. And for what reason? We're, re we're removing the initial line of defense for a cat. When a cat tries to get your attention because they don't like what's going on, then they're going to pat-pat at you. Right? If you don't get that message, then the claws come out. Hey, I'm trying to tell you something. And the third line of defense is their teeth. That's when they bite. So when a cat gets their claws taken away because you think you're going to be safer, I'm telling you what, you're going to get bit more often than not. Cats who are declawed are more likely to get surrendered to shelters. Why is that? Usually because of secondary symptoms. A cat goes in the litter box for the first time after surgery, it hurts. A cat doesn't say, wow, my paws hurt. What they say when they step in the litter box is, that place hurts. And why would I go back there? Yeah, no reasonable cat would go back into something that hurts them. So they stop. And cats who are declawed then wind up with litter box problems. That's when I meet them. Let's also talk about what we're doing to a cat's physiology. We are changing it. Cats are what we call digitigrade. They walk on their tiptoes. And when we change uh, the formation uh, of their paws, boom, they sink down. Please think about it. Later on in life, are they more susceptible to arthritis, for instance? Of course they are, because we've changed the way nature made them. Now, do cats who uh, suffer declawing have problems defending themselves? Sure they do. Declawed cats have a hard time climbing trees to get away from predators, even though vets uh, are still performing declawing to a large degree, they'll still say, keep your cat indoors because they have trouble defending themselves outdoors. Is declawing with a laser better? It's less messy, sure, but there have been papers published that say that there is absolutely no correlation between uh, laser declawing and a decrease in the amount of chronic pain and discomfort that a cat will experience none whatsoever. Declawing is so predictably painful that pharmaceuticals actually use it uh, as a measure to test pain medication. Guys, 22 countries on record, and I'm sure more at this point, have banned decline. Whole countries. Now, we've been fighting in the states to ban it city by city because of some arcane laws that prevent us from going after the states, uh, at least in California, but entire countries, 22 of them. Well, the one thing I don't want to do is come across as somebody who is wagging their finger at everybody. That's not who I am, I swear to you. I'm an educator and a student for the most part, but I'm here to tell you that, that it's forgivable. If you said, oh, my grandparents declawed, my mom declawed her cat, so I declawed mine. It's fine if you're learning right now. If you refuse to look at uh, both anecdotal and scientific evidence, and you don't listen to me, someone who has been in the field for 20 years working with these cats, then I have a hard time forgiving because you are going against uh, what you know about your cats. If you want to learn more about declawing, well, first of all, there's me, and you will find articles on cats uh, scratching and how cats can live happily ever after on my website. Uh, as a matter of fact, you probably see a link for it right there. But also, another link right there would be pawproject.org. Man, you get lots of great information there. But here, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'll be giving away two, count them, two, 
copies of the Paw Project movie. Uh, I will autograph it, sign it to you or, or your favorite cat or someone that you're trying to educate. I'll sign their name right on here as well. And uh, it is a fantastic movie, so stay tuned, guys. All you gotta do is leave a comment on the bottom of this here page, subscribe uh, to this channel, and you are entered automatically to win one of these movies. Uh, and uh, hurry up because uh, you only have a short amount of time to do this. More uh, information to follow, so please subscribe and you'll find out more.